Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. We have two more Wielders of the Legacy from our Patreon Discord joining us for tonight's game. For more information on the Legacy Weapon Quest, check out our explanation in our other gameplay video linked below. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, costs nothing to do, and it goes such a long way in helping us out in the process. If you'd like to help financially, consider signing up to our Patreon, buying some merchandise, or purchasing from the TCG player links in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Rio, piloting Grand Arbiter Augustine IV. This deck seeks to control the board and mill out opponents through the use of multiple persistent petitioners. Rio's opening hand contains a Sky Cloud Expanse, Misty Rainforest, Plains, Avon Mind Sensor, Basalt Monolith, Counterspell, and his London Mulligan is an island. Next, we have Zack, piloting Vega the Watcher. This deck seeks to gain advantage and assemble an ISO Rev combo, draw his deck, and win through a Lab Man effect. Zack's opening hand contains an island, Sea of Clouds, Mana Confluence, Mystic Remora, Spellseeker, Laboratory Maniac, and an Archmage Emeritus. After that, we have Mike, piloting the partner pair of Krom, Ludovic's Opus, and Ikris Shadiki, the Usurper. This deck seeks to resolve Bolas' Citadel and cast from the top of its library to assemble a win. Mike's opening hand contains a Pyroblast, Watery Grave, Ponder, Dockside Extortionist, Oko Thief of Crowns, and its London Mulligans are a Swan Song and a Winds of Rebuke. Finally, we have Mark, piloting Kaikar, Winds Fury. This deck seeks to build up a massive storm count before landing an Underworld Breach and finding a combo to win the game. Mark's opening hand contains a Plateau, a Braid, Dispel, Enlightened Tutor, Lotus Petal, and its London Mulligans are Wooded Foothills and a Cyclonic Rift. Without further ado, let's kick off this fast fanatic fallible frenzy of fictitious fiends. Rio has the coolest Discord avatar and gets to start us off. Rio draws a card for turn and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He passes. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Sea of Clouds. He casts a Mystic Remora. In response, Rio casts Enlightened Tutor. He fetches up a Mana Crypt onto the top of his library. Then Mystic Remora resolves, and Zack ends his turn. Mike draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He passes. Mark draws and plays a Plateau. He ships the turn to Rio. Rio draws and plays a Plains. He casts a Mana Crypt. Remora triggers, and Zack draws. He casts his commander, Grand Arbiter Augustine IV. In response, Mike cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up a Badlands onto the battlefield. He casts Pyroblast, countering Grand Arbiter. Rio shifts the turn to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays an Island. He passes, discarding to hand size. Mike draws and plays a Watery Grave, into play tapped. Mike ends his turn. Mark draws, misses his Land Drop, and passes. During his upkeep, Rio wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Sky Cloud Expands. Not wanting to play into Remora, Rio ends his turn. During his upkeep, Zack pays for his Remora. He draws and plays an Island. He ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He passes. Mark draws, takes no actions, and passes. At the end of Mark's turn, Rio flashes in an Avon Mind Sensor. During his upkeep, Rio loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Persistent Petitioners. He attacks Mike with his Avon Mind Sensor. Mike takes it, and Rio ends his turn. During his upkeep, Zack pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Mana Confluence for turn. He passes. Mike draws and casts Ponder. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Mike looks at the top three, rearranges, and draws. Mike passes. Mark draws and casts Lotus Petal. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Mark ends his turn. During his upkeep, Rio wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays an Island for turn. He recasts his Commander, Grand Arbiter. In response, Mark casts Enlightened Tutor. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Enlightened Tutor resolves, Mark searches the top four through Avon Mind Sensor, and reveals a Grim Monolith onto the top of his library. Then Grand Arbiter resolves. Rio moves to combat and attacks Mike with Avon Mind Sensor and Persistent Petitioners. Mike takes it all, and Rio passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack lets his Remora die, and the table breathes a sigh of relief. He draws and plays an island. He casts Chrome Mons, imprinting Spellseeker. He casts a Felwar Stone. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Counterbalance. It resolves, and Zack ends his turn. Mike draws and casts a Soul Ring. He casts Dockside Extortionist. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals an Urza Saga. Dockside enters, and Mike creates five treasures. He sacrifices treasures to cast Oko, Thief of Crowns. He activates Oko, turning his own Dockside into a 3-3 Elk to avoid any clone effects at the table. Mike passes to Mark. Mark draws and starts off his turn by paying two life to cast a Taxian Probe, targeting Zack. 
He looks at Zack's hand and draws a card. He finally plays another land, which is a Shivan Reef. Feeling better already, Mark ends his turn. During his upkeep, Rio loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Cephalid Colosseum for turn. He casts Basalt Monolith. He attacks Oko with Aven Mind Sensor. Oko takes it, and Rio passes to Zack. Zack draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. Zack passes. Mike draws and casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. He activates Oko, creating a food token. Mike passes. Mark draws and casts a Mana Crypt. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals a flooded strand, countering Mana Crypt. Bummed out, Mark passes. During his upkeep, Rio loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Rio passes. At the end of Rio's turn, Zack casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. In response, Rio casts Counterspell. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. In response, Mark casts Dispel, targeting Counterspell. Dispel counters Counterspell, and Cyclonic Rift resolves, bouncing all of Zack's opponent's non-land permanents. Zack draws and puts his second counter on Urza Saga. He plays a Windswept Teeth for turn. He casts Archmage Emeritus. Zack passes. Mike draws and casts a Lotus Petal. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals a Gemstone Caverns, countering Lotus Petal. Mike casts a Soul Ring. In response, Zack cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. Then Soul Ring resolves. Mike casts Dockside Extortionist. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Dockside enters, and Mike creates four treasures. He recasts his commander, Krom. He casts Mystic Remora. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Krom. Zack takes it, and Mike ends his turn. Mark draws, takes no actions, and passes. Rio draws and casts Persistent Petitioners. He passes. At the end of Rio's turn, Zack activates Urza Saga. In response, Rio taps his Cephalid Coliseum to flash in an Aven Mind Sensor. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. Mind Sensor resolves, then Zack creates a construct. The turn moves to Zack. Zack draws, and Urza Saga triggers. In response to the trigger, Zack creates a construct. Then Zack sacrifices Urza Saga, searches the top four, fails to find, and shuffles. He plays a Polluted Delta for turn. He casts Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. He activates Jace, milling two, and drawing a card. He attacks Mike with his construct. Mike takes four, and Zack passes to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He casts a Mana Crypt. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals a Prismatic Vista, countering the spell. Mike cracks a Scalding Tarn, looks at the top four, and finds an island. Everyone curses Mike's luck, and Mike follows it up with a counterbalance of his own. Everyone groans, Zack's own counterbalance triggers, and Zack responds. Zack sacrifices his Polluted Delta, looks at the top four, fails to find, and shuffles. He then reveals a Narset's Reversal, countering Mike's counterbalance. Everyone praises the gods for Zack's lucky reveal, and Mike moves to combat. He attacks Jace with Krom. Jace takes it, and Mike passes the turn. Mark draws and casts a Preordain. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. He scries two, puts both on bottom, and draws. Mark passes the turn. Rio draws and casts a Null Rod. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals... Narset's Reversal, which everyone knew was already on top. Null Rod is countered, and everyone cuts Rio some slack because it had been a long day. He attacks Jace with Aven Mind Sensor, killing it. Rio gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with his Archmage and two Constructs. Mike takes 10, and Zack passes to Mike. At the end of Zack's turn, Mike casts Tainted Pact. Mike swears it's just a value Tainted Pact, guys, but no one believes him. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals an Azorius Signet countering Tainted Pact. Mike thought he could lie to the table, but he couldn't lie to Counterbalance. The turn moves to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts his other commander, Ikra Shadiki the Usurper. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Krom. Zack takes it, Ikra triggers, and Mike gains four. Mike passes to Mark. Mark draws and pleads with Zack to let him resolve the card in his hand, which is a Dockside Extortionist. He's had poor luck all game and just needs to get back into the game. Zack declines, and Mark casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Mark passes. At the end of Mark's turn, Rio activates his petitioners, milling Mark for one, which is a land. <laughs> Mark getting no mercy gives the turn to Rio. Rio draws and casts a Mana Crypt. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. He casts his commander, Grand Arbiter. Krom triggers, and Mike draws again. In response, Zack cracks his Flooded Strand, searching the top four, failing to find, and shuffles. Arbiter resolves, and Rio passes to Zack. Zack draws and moves the combat. He attacks Mark with Archmage. 
Mark takes it and Zack passes. During his upkeep, Mike pays to keep his remora. He draws and plays an underground seed for turn. He attacks Zack with Krom. Zack takes it, Egra triggers, and Mike gains four. Mike passes, discarding to hand size. Mark draws and finally hits another land drop. He plays a fiery islet for turn. He taps his islet to help cast Grim Monolith. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Counterbalance triggers and Zack reveals a mana crypt. Monolith resolves and Mark passes. At the end of Mark's turn, Rio activates his petitioners, milling himself for one. During his upkeep, Rio wins his mana crypt roll. He draws and casts another persistent petitioners. Rio passes. Zack draws and casts a mana crypt. Remora triggers and Mike draws. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with both of his constructs. Mike blocks one with Ikra and takes the rest. Zack passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Mike casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his own dockside. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals a mystical tutor countering Chain of Vapor. This made Mike cast Limduel's Vault. In response, Zack casts Mistcast. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Krom triggers, and Mike draws again. Archmage Emeritus triggers, and Zack draws. Limduel's Vault is countered, and Mike moves to his turn. During his upkeep, Mike lets his Remora die. He draws and recasts Oko, Thief of Crowns. Counterbalance triggers, and Zack reveals a Gilded Drake. Mike activates Oko, Elking Grand Arbiter. He plays a Marsh Flats for turn. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. He attacks Zack with Krom. Zack takes it, Ikra triggers, and Mike gains four. Mike ends his turn. Mark draws and casts Rite of Flame, adding two red. He taps his Fiery Islet and his Shivan Reef to help cast his commander, Kaikar, Wind's Fury. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. Mark casts Jessica's Will, choosing both modes, targeting Mike. Kaikar triggers, and Mark creates a 1-1 Spirit. Will resolves, Mark adds 8 red, and then he exiles Steam Vents, Red Elemental Blast, and a Talisman of Creativity. He plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Counterbalance. Kaikar triggers, and Counterbalance triggers as well. In response, Ryo casts Narset's Reversal, targeting Red Elemental Blast. Reversal resolves, copies, and bounces Blast, with the new copy targeting Mark's Kaikar. In response, Mark casts Red Elemental Blast again, targeting Counterbalance. In response, Zack casts Dispel, targeting Blast. Archmage Emeritus triggers, and in response, Mike casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Dispel. Guardianship counters Dispel, Zack draws through Archmage, Red Elemental Blast destroys Counterbalance, the entire table cheers, the copy of Blast destroys Kaikar, the Counterbalance trigger resolves, Zack reveals an Adakar Waste, and Mark finally creates his 1-1 Spirit. Mark casts an Azorius Signet. He casts a Talisman of Creativity. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Mark creates eight treasures. He sacrifices treasures to help recast Kaikar. Mark ends his turn. At the end of Mark's turn, Rio activates Petitioners, milling himself for one. During his upkeep, Rio loses his Mana Crypt trigger and takes three damage. He draws and recasts Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Rio passes. During his upkeep, Zack wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays an Adakar Waste for turn. He casts Gilded Drake. It resolves and exchanges control of Mike's Krom. He casts his commander, Vega the Watcher. Zack ends his turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Mike casts Cabal Ritual with Threshold, adding five black. He casts Ad Nauseam. In response, Zack casts Mana Drain. Archmage triggers, and in response, Mike sacrifices his Marsh Flats and pays a life. In response, Mark casts Silence. Kaikar triggers, and Mark creates a spirit. In response, Mike casts Winds of Rebuke, targeting his Dockside. In response, Mark casts a Braid, targeting Dockside. Kaikar triggers, and Mark creates a spirit again. Dockside dies, Winds of Rebuke fizzles, Silence resolves, then Mike searches through his Marsh Flats, fails to find, shuffles, then Zack draws through Archmage, then Mana Drain counters Ad Nauseam. The turn finally moves to Mike. Mike draws and casts Jeweled Lotus. He activates Oko's third ability, targeting his Jeweled Lotus and Zack's Archmage Emeritus. In response, Zack casts Mystical Tutor. Archmage triggers and Zack draws. He then looks at the top four and reveals a Brainstorm onto the top of his library. Then the two exchange control. Mike casts Jessica's Will, targeting Zack. Krom triggers and Zack draws. Archmage triggers and Mike draws. In response, Zack casts Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. Jessica's Will resolves, Mike adds five red and exiles Mystical Tutor, Yogmoth's Will, and Avail of Summer. Mike casts Mystical Tutor. Archmage triggers and he draws. Tutor resolves, Mike looks at the top four and reveals a culling ritual onto the top of his library. He casts Veil of Summer from Exile. Archmage triggers and Mike draws. In response, Zack casts Mental Misstep, countering Veil. Mike casts Yogmoth's Will from Exile. Archmage triggers and in response, Zack casts Narset's Reversal, targeting Will. In response, Mike hard casts Force of Negation. Archmage triggers and Mike draws. 
Force of Negation counters and exiles Narset's Reversal, Mike draws through Archmage, then Yawgmoth's Royal Resolves. Mike casts a Mana Crypt from his graveyard. He casts a Lotus Petal from his graveyard. He casts Dockside Extortionist from his graveyard. In response, Mark cracks two treasures and sacrifices Lion's Eye Diamond, discarding his hand to keep Mike off of more treasures. Then Dockside resolves and Mike creates nine treasures. He casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his own Dockside. Archmage triggers and Mike draws. Dockside bounces and Mike sacrifices a land, copying Chain, targeting his Mana Crypt. Archmage triggers and Mike draws. Mana Crypt bounces, Mike copies the Chain again, sacrificing a land, targeting his Soul Ring. Archmage triggers and Mike draws again. Soul Ring bounces and Mike stops the chain. He recasts Mana Crypt. He recasts Soul Ring. He sacrifices his Lotus Petal and adds a green. He casts Toxic Deluge where X equals 3, paying 3 life. Archmage triggers and Mike draws. Deluge resolves and each creature gets minus 3 minus 3, which includes Avon Mind Sensor. Mike casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses 2 life. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Mike creates 9 treasures. He casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, rearranges, and shuffles. He casts Counterbalance. He casts Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Dockside, and Mike creates nine more treasures. He casts Mystical Tutor from his graveyard through Yawgmoth's Well. He fetches up a Brain Freeze onto the top of his library. He plays a City of Brass for turn. He casts Jessica's Will from his graveyard, choosing both modes, targeting Rio. He adds four red and exiles Brain Freeze, Wooded Foothills, and Transmute Artifact. He casts Winds of Rebuke from his graveyard, targeting his Dockside. Dockside bounces, and each player mills too. He recasts Dockside. It enters, creating nine more treasures. He taps the City of Brass to cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing City of Brass. He fetches up an Emergence Zone onto the battlefield. He casts Cabal Ritual, with Threshold, adding five black. He casts Dalthy Voidwalker. He casts Transmute Artifact, sacrificing his Soul Ring, and fetches up a Bolus's Citadel onto the battlefield, paying the difference. He pays a life and casts Sensei's Divining Top off of the top of his library. He pays two and casts Demonic Tutor off of the top of his library. He fetches up a card into his hand. He pays three life to cast Necropotence off of the top of his library. He pays two life to cast Manamorphose off of the top of his library as well. He adds a red and a blue and draws a card. He casts Mnemonic Betrayal. He exiles each opponent's graveyards. He casts Brain Freeze with three copies targeting Zack and the rest at Rio. He holds priority and casts Rio's Narset's Reversal, targeting his original copy of Brain Freeze. Reversal resolves, copies Brain Freeze, but doesn't get the storm count, targets Zack, then bounces the original. Then Brain Freeze resolves, and they all mill cards into exile with void counters on them through Dothy Voidwalker. Mike recasts Brain Freeze with all copies targeting Mark to exile his entire library. He casts Thassa's Oracle. It enters, and with the trigger on the stack, Mike casts Tainted Pact from his graveyard. Tainted Pact resolves, Mike exiles his library, then Thassa's Oracle's trigger resolves, and Mike wins the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Mike on his win. It may not have been obvious on his final turn, but Mike was trying to win in fewer steps, but had to find a line that didn't have him immediately lose to Cephalid Coliseum. If Mike just cast Thoracle with his opponent's graveyards full, Rio could have sacked Coliseum and Mike would have lost the game. It's these little details you have to be aware of to help close out complicated board states like this. The most valuable card in tonight's game goes to Counterbalance. This card was countering spells and altering play styles to play around this card. Having spells countered at no resource cost is a very powerful effect indeed. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Alright, Patreon shout out time. I'd like to give a shout out to Cameron James, Ricky Undercuff Fleur, Justice for Dak, Gabriel Adams, Thomas Thurber, uh, Katarina? Katrina? Uh, Katarina? Lo Noah Quirswell, Nod Noodle, Nicholas Tatum, Anton Oberg, Tom Spackman, Ryan Wright, Otto Von Trapp, Ivan, Connor Holtz, Nathan Smith, Willow Lysander, Pyro, Dark, Philip Hickey, Jacob Cromer, Brad Tobin, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Chad Hendricks, Dante, Christian L. Sutfin, Ryan Brower, Rune, Rikeko, Michael Hallett, Paul M. Toll, Quickdraw, Zods, Kobe Smith, James Cody Halley, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Coran, Darius Mitchell, King of Sharks, Liam, Caleb Pretty, Tauntaun101, Jacob Simpson, and Thomas Bowers.
Thank you all very much.